Let's speak about penny stocks, baby. What is happening, investors? It is your boy, Jack. I am not a financial advisor, and today I'm going to bring you a list of five different penny stocks that I personally am watching that I potentially am thinking about swing trading. That's the first thing I want to make clear in today's video. I'm not really getting into these companies. I don't plan on holding any of them over a long term. This is just something to put on your watch list if you are a swing trader, a day trader, if you're trying to make some really quick money. Some of these are very hyped up right now. Some of them you may not even know about. Some of them are really small cap companies, but they all are offering quite large opportunities and a lot of them are some of the hottest traded stocks on the NASDAQ or OTC markets right now. But please do remember that guys we're not even really looking at the companies too too much today we're looking at hype we're looking at potential short-term catalyst we're looking at momentum we're looking at market sentiment we're looking at technical indicators those kinds of things it's not like looking at facebook i read through all of the 10 q's and the ak's etc etc it's just trying to make some money it's trying to follow the trends so my friends right before we get into the first company of today can i please ask you to hit that juicy like button drop me a comment down below what's your watch list for these penny socks are you swing trading them are you long term in any of them and please my friend if you are indeed new around here hit that juicy red subscribe button we're on the road to 70 thousand subscribers my friends if you're interested please hit that first link in the description and sign up to my private discord group in there you get access to my buy and sell alerts we've played oeg twice in the last few days and we've made money both times you have a penny stock channel in there there's over 50 private channels there's nearly 800 investors and to top it off we're doing a 1000 dollar giveaway tomorrow that's that first link in the description baby and if you want some free stocks hit that second link in the description sign up to weeble deposit 100 dollars two of them are valued up to three thousand seven hundred dollars each Woo. anyway Anyway guys, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to start it off with OEG, just because it's probably the penny stock we've spoken about the most on the channel right now, and it's the one that I've actually played twice and made money on twice. So I initially made my first video on this company when they were 148, and they proceeded to run all the way up to about 280 very quickly. Now I didn't buy in when I first spoke about them. What's good about these guys is the fact that they are a NASDAQ listed company. There's a lot of people out there who don't have access to OTC stocks. The guys who use Webull and Robinhood can't go OTC, but they will have these nasdaq stocks now a few of the companies we speak about today are on the otc if you can't use them with Webull or robinhood i believe fidelity have them but i'm not from the us so i'm not 100 sure and the guys in europe like me trading 212 has an awful lot of otc stocks but not all of them just so you're aware but these are what i initially looked into and i actually really like the look of the long-term outlook of this company that's what initially got me quite excited about them but then i realized that they do also have quite large swings and there was some really quick term money to be made here so the first time i played them i think we bought in around here we made about 23 to 25% the very first time. So, you know, really quick money. It was a very quick turnaround. Then the second time, market didn't really make up its mind. We made about 5%. But at the end of the day, it's 5%. I put about $6,000 in. So we made 300 in what I think it was about 10 minutes. So it's free money. What I do like about this company is there are some very clear lines of support, okay? I had it drawn out about 187. It's a little bit lower than that in all honesty. I really would be looking towards the 180 mark, maybe even a few cents below that. And we also have a very clear area of resistance, which is right up around the $2.50 cent mark. So we're kind of playing with this 25% range, which, you know, can lead to some really nice gains in the space of a day or two. Now I'm looking at the four hour chart. We have been trading it pretty much based off of the five minute chart. You can see that as of right now, we're a little bit below the 50 day moving average. The RSI is pretty neutral and the MACD looks like it wants to turn bullish. So an upward movement wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. But I personally, I'm more interested in getting into this company around the areas of support or resistance. Maybe you want to short the stock. These aren't the most hyped company in the world. But they still do have a small market cap of about 65 million. And they are on quite a few people's radars right now. So they can move quite quickly. So of course, do be aware that just because we got it right twice in a row, it can go wrong very quickly. With any of the companies we speak about today, please do have exit points set up. Me personally, if I go into a swing, I'm generally not looking to risk more than 10 to 15%, especially if I'm looking to get in and out that same day or even over the next two or three days. So don't feel the need to rush into anything. That's the same reason I wouldn't play it right now. We're right in the middle of my support and my resistance, and there isn't a very clear market direction, but I think there is still gonna be a lot of money to be made on this company if you get in at the right time and you get out at the right time. Okay, boom, we're looking at a company called Naked. Now, this is an example of a company that I don't like at all. I really don't like the business. I would never invest in the business itself, but that doesn't matter. You don't have to like the business to make money. These guys are somewhat renowned for their pump and dumps. I mean, they happen all of the time. Quite unfortunately, I called them a couple of days ago on my Discord when they were down here before an 89% upwards movement, but I didn't take it. Look, I'm not that regretful. It's okay. Yeah, I missed out on what could have been 75 to 85%. It could just as easily have gone the other way. I might not have sold on time. It is what it is. You can see again, this is a NASDAQ listed company that has a sub $30 million market cap. 
That's why it's a pump and dump guy's dream. A few people on Yahoo Finance boards could move this company 10% without a doubt in my mind. These guys don't need any upcoming catalyst. They don't need anything. The market cap is that small. With me personally, this is one that's going to be really volatile. Okay, it's on the NASDAQ, sub $30 million market cap. A lot of people know about it. It's known for pump and dumps. I would only risk small amounts on this. I went into OEG with about $6,000, $6,500. I wouldn't do that with a company like this. I would really, really manage my risk. This thing could drop 30% in literally 15 minutes, and that's not an exaggeration. Right now, the RSI is still a bit overbought. The MACD looks terrible. I would be expecting a further pullback over the next couple of days. But this is a company that I want to add to my watch list. Again, don't like the company at all. But I do think there's a lot of money to be made here if you're getting in at the right time. But do remember that risk management that we just spoke about. This is one of the really volatile ones. Okay, this company here is quite cool. And only recently I put it onto my watch list, okay? GHSI, Guardian Health Sciences, okay? Now, if I bring you over to this website here, Hot Nasdaq Penny Stocks, you can see this had the third highest volume on the Nasdaq in regards to penny stocks yesterday. Right behind Naked, which was in second place, and Sundial Grocers in first place, largely because of Biden. So you can see this company went on a near 20% run yesterday. It's up 25% pre-market. But you will also see that yesterday, it actually went up a lot, lot more than that 20% it closed the day at, my friends. It broke through the $1 a share mark. So again, this very much so is a momentum play. This is your standard penny stock right now. They have a focus on developing nutrition, medical food and medical devices. The first medical food released by the company was Lumega Z, and this is a food that has been used clinically since 2012 to help restore lost vision. Anything that is even remotely related to pharma right now or health in general, People are on top of it when it comes to these penny stocks. It's a pure momentum play, but a couple of interesting things did happen yesterday. Obviously, they went on a disgusting run-up. I mean, it was 80 plus percent, not by the end of the day, but still. You will see that they actually closed right where this previous green candle wicked up to. It was a gap up, and it's pretty much been filled in exactly. I think this one has quite a bit of hype behind it, and I think this one's going to move quite quickly over the next couple of days. Now, I have not traded this one at all yet myself. I was contemplating getting in yesterday. Luckily, I didn't, but this one's definitely in the top two on my watch list for today. Again, if you want to know if we make any of these trades, you got to join that Discord group, guys. You get my buy and sell alerts in real time. They don't all make it to YouTube. Now, again, I would like to point out MACD looks very ugly and the RSI looks a little bit overbought, but not terribly. I do think it has room to run and it wouldn't surprise me if next week at some stage it wants to retest those recent highs it just made. But of course, when you see moves like this, when you see these massive upwards move over the span of a week, tread very cautiously. Okay, now we have an OTC. C stock, ATVK, Ameritech Ventures. I want to show you guys something. These guys haven't had a red day in a long time. I mean, a very long time. Go all the way back to the 9th of December. There hasn't been any red. There's been a lot of sideways days, but there hasn't been any red. It's been going up and up and up. And I wouldn't say it's slow and steady. Yesterday, we had a 16% day. The day before was 7. The day before was 40. Now, this is actually a company that's piqued my interest. And you can probably expect a full video on these guys over the next couple of days. It's one of the penny stocks that actually, you know, really got me interested in the actual company as opposed to just the stock chart. Now, what I will say, it's OTC and it has a $15.72 million market cap. That screams volatility, guys. The smaller the market cap, more than likely the more volatile it's going to be. I also haven't really seen anybody on YouTube speak about this one yet. So, you know, if it makes its way to mainstream YouTube, I would expect a lot of hype and a lot of FOMO to kick in. So when you do start looking at this company, there are quite a few bull signs there. So this is one that I could see myself taking potentially a longer term swing in. I could see myself buying it and holding it for a little while. But don't take that as me saying to buy, or don't take that as me saying I am going to buy. I'm in the middle of research. But I mean, you look at the stock chart, and it's actually very nice. <laughs> I mean, obviously everything looks ridiculously overbought. But we have ups, we have downs, we have some red candles, despite the fact we're pretty much always going up. They were doing for a long time until November 9th, after Sean John Pesley was appointed custodian of Ameritech Ventures. Now, this is a man I'm doing a lot of research into right now. I'm not going to get too into it because this isn't a DD video, but make sure you look into this man. He was also appointed CEO and sole director of the company. They're a clean shell with just $600,000 in liability. So again, I'm actually looking into the company on this one. I probably won't jump in, but it definitely is one I would have on your watch list. Now, this is one that I expect a lot of people to be aware of right now and potentially a lot of people playing right now. Another NASDAQ listed penny stock. This one does have a market cap of, you know, 460 million. And they are in the MJ industry. So with Biden getting presidency, you know, that's why a lot of people are going to start speculating on these guys in particular. And if you look at yesterday's volume, it was the highest by far in regards to any NASDAQ listed penny stock, my friends. Look at that volume, nearly 800. 
hundred million shares traded. Now again, I know some people would have done research into this company and will think that it has long term potential. For me personally, I wouldn't really plan on being an investor. I wouldn't really plan on, you know, buying it to hold. Look through those stock charts, you see your ups and downs, your peaks and valleys, but ultimately it's not been very good. But I do think that today and tomorrow in particular, this is going to see some big moves, my friends. Add it to the watch list, okay? There is some unhealthy price action. You see big market opens, big crashes quite constantly here. You see a lot of gaps get created pretty much on a daily basis. A lot of them don't get filled in particularly quickly. It's very volatile. It moves very quickly. But it also moves very slowly sometimes. It goes through prolonged periods of consolidation at times. So just be aware of what you're getting into. Again, this is one that I probably wouldn't put as much capital on the line with because if things go against me, I could lose a lot of money very quickly. But my friends, there are five hot penny socks to add to your watch list, you know, potentially do some research on some of them for the long term. But also, if you are a swing trader or a day trader, some stocks to watch. There could be some money to be made. If you watch this video all the way to the end, you, my friend, are a true legend and I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Your support means the world to me. If you did enjoy the video, could I please ask you to hit that juicy like button? Drop me a comment down below and please, my friend, subscribe if you're new around here. Again, if you want to join that private Discord group, that's the first link in the description. That's where you get all of my buy and sell alerts. Penny stock swing trades, long term buys, whatever it is. And we're doing that $1,000 giveaway tomorrow. And if you want those free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description, my friends. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you for another video very soon. Peace.